My name is Roshan Patel, and I'm the director of the Kidney Stone Center at the University of California, Irvine. So there are three types of kidney stone surgery, and I'll briefly describe them and also their recovery. Number one, shockwave lithotripsy. Shockwaves are applied to the outside of the body to break up the stones into fragments small enough for you to be able to pass these stones on your own. Patients can return home the same day as the procedure, often returning to normal activities the very next day or within two to three days. The second is ureteroscopy. This is when a small ureteroscope is inserted without making an incision or cut, and it's to view the stones within the patient's body. Here, a kidney stone can be seen, and a laser is then used to break the stone, and then a basket-like device is used to carefully remove the stones from the body. Patients can often return home the very same day and return to their activities within two to three days. The third is percutaneous nephrolithotomy. This is when a nephroscope is inserted via a small incision in the back or the side to view, break, and remove the stones within the patient's body. Typically, for large stones, this procedure is utilized. Patients are required to stay overnight at the hospital the same day as the procedure, returning to normal activities within one to two weeks. At the end of surgery, once all the stones are removed, the surgeon may insert and leave a small tube in the kidney down the ureter and into the bladder, which is called a stent. This helps drain the urine from the kidney down into the bladder. A stent is a thin, semi-rigid plastic tube that helps allow urine to pass from the kidneys down into the bladder. However, the stent may cause some discomfort and will typically be removed four to 10 days after the procedure. Some patients may experience some discomfort or blood in the urine when urinating due to the stent being in the patient's body. Thank you for watching.